the formidable robot. I remember the days when I was into Plants vs. Zombies. I used to play PvZ1 every day after school, and I usually played PvZ2 when I went on road trips with my family. Nowadays however, I've been straying further from PvZ's community after I stumbled upon a strange modified version of the game, which I found while searching ROM hacks on Game Jolt. The mod itself looked very out of the ordinary. The title alone, Grey Garden, pretty much summarized what game I was about to download on my computer. There was only one user who made this comment on the mods page. What the fuck is this? I've been asking myself the same question. Despite the mod's suspicious tendencies, I downloaded it anyway, assuming that nobody has played it before. When I opened the zip file, the mod was in a folder named, Plants, with a Z, or Z. The application's icon, instead of showing a zombie's hand holding a flower, instead depicted a monochrome pea shooter that looked like it was rotting. Upon opening the application, the game appeared, almost entirely normal, except for a few obvious differences. The title screen featured a poorly made logo that was plastered onto the Plants vs. Zombies text that appeared in the base game. The grey stone on the menu screen only had one button that read, Play Game. When I clicked on it, the maniacal laughter sound effect that played when the zombie's hand shows up is missing. It was weird, but who knows? Maybe some sound effects for the game were corrupted upon downloading the mod from Game Jolt. When playing the game, I noticed something off about the plants. They either had different facial expressions, or no facial expressions at all. As for the zombies, they were strangely overloaded, and they ended up eating most of my pea shooters. After a bit of frustration while trying to finish the third level, I hacked into the game's code and fixed the bugs I was having problems with. This allowed me to continue playing the game normally. During the first few levels of the night area, I noticed that the gravestones were also different from the base game. Instead of some graves having humorous inscriptions on them, they read out names like Stanley Flanagan or Lawrence Segal. I couldn't use grave busters either. Placing one on a grave would cause a message to pop up, reading, no. Despite many oddities that I encountered, I kept progressing through the game, until I reached the last level of the fog area. Instead of receiving the cabbage pult, the game crashed. Upon reopening it however, I was met with nothing but a black screen. It stayed that way for a few seconds until it cut back to a level that appeared similar to those in the day area, except that everything was monochromatic. Crazy Dave popped up, and he appeared to have bugged assets. His face had no eyes or nose, and he is missing his trademark beard and saucepan. He repeats the phrase, you will reap what you sow you cheater. He kept repeating that phrase several times. That line alone made me feel very uncomfortable, it's almost like he knew that I hacked the game. Upon starting the level, there were strangely no zombies present on the other side of the lawn, that was until after I chose my plants. When placing the seeds on the lawn, the plants themselves don't look like they're alive, some of them look like they've gone limp, like a strand of spaghetti. Most notably, the sunflower's faces look like that of an elderly woman's, and as for the pea shooters, they looked exactly like the application's icon, except that I can see it more clearly now. The pea shooters look bruised and beaten, cracks are plastered on their faces, and they have visibly exposed brains. On the other side of the lawn, a shadowed pea shooter appeared, and corrupted zombies began to load in from the area in which the pea shooter was standing. For some reason, my pea shooters couldn't attack the zombies, and neither did my other plants. I tried to defend my base as hard as I could, but it was too late. A zombie has already reached the house. I heard the crunching noise from the zombie, which caused a screamer to pop up on my screen, showing a warped and distorted human face moving up and down, instead of the usual the zombies ate your brains message. As the face was rapidly flashing red and white, I heard sound effects of people screaming in agony. The game over screen read, take the step, and instead of the button reading try again, it read, end game. I had no other option to continue, so I closed the game and tried to open it back up, but ultimately failed to do so. I later found out that my computer was riddled with Trojan horses and keyloggers that were hidden within the mobs folder. 
Luckily, I uninstalled the mod, and my antivirus easily removed the unwanted programs. I reported the ROM hack to GameJolt, and its page was deleted a few days later. Whether the mod is lost to time or not is uncertain, but one thing is known for sure. That game was meant for someone else.